Hey guys, it is Shannon Lady Warrior, and I want to ask you a just probably a, you know, dagger to the heart question here. Have you ever blamed the holiday for gaining weight? If you have, this video is for you. And today I am going to give you the five strategies on how to eat and enjoy the holidays. And not just the holidays, all the events that are just those day events, whether it's the holiday, a barbecue, um, a birthday, a retirement party, a graduation party, anything where we are taking ourselves out of our own environment, maybe we're not in control of the food that is coming, this is going to be for you. This is going to help you. And I am gonna show you exactly how I build my plate during the holidays, particularly Thanksgiving, because it is my favorite holiday as it is coming up. So here we go. So it is not the holiday or the event that is causing you to gain weight, okay? So let's think about when we go to Thanksgiving dinner, when we go to Christmas dinner, when we have New Year's, or when we go to, you know, a barbecue, a graduation, whatever it is, think about the food that is there. Tons and tons of food revolves around the carbohydrates, okay? Probably typically more than you eat on a regular basis. So the first thing that we need to understand is what carbohydrates are doing to our body. Here we are, we have our carbohydrates, right? This is our body's main source of energy, okay? Our body thrives off of carbohydrates. This is where we get our energy, okay? So when we eat, yum, 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 the food gets broken down into glucose. All right, what is glucose? Glucose is a sugar. We use this sugar as energy, and whatever we don't use right away, our body will store in the form of glycogen in our liver and our muscles, okay? So glucose, glycogen is the stored form of glucose, all right? And what you have to understand, and here is the kicker, and this is why I'm telling you that the holiday, remember day, not days, it is a day, Thanksgiving is one day, is causing you to gain weight, is because every gram of glycogen has three to four grams of water that comes along with it. So you, you eat, you have your carbohydrates, they break down, you store them in the form of glycogen, each one of those glycogen grams also is storing three to four grams of water. So that is why after you've eaten a heavy laden carbohydrate meal, you feel tired, you feel sluggish. You know, you may wanna go take a nap. Your rings may start getting tight. Your feet might start, you know, feeling tight in your shoes. You take your shoes off, your pants, your jeans, they start to feel a little snug. That is why, it's because of the water. So what I wanna do is I wanna give you the high five, okay? I wanna give you five strategies on how to not be afraid to go into the holidays, how to be able to enjoy the holidays, and what you can do after to make everything feel so much better, okay? Because it's not about restriction, it's not about misery one way or the other, it's not about misery because you're restricting yourself or misery because you have just overindulged so much, it's about right here, right in the middle, finding that balance and being able to live in there. And I promise you, I'm gonna show you exactly what I do and I don't feel restricted. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything and I'm probably eating more food than I ever do in my life um, and I love every bit of it. The first thing, don't starve yourself. Don't get up in the morning and be like, oh my gosh, it's Thanksgiving, it's Christmas, it's New Year's, it's my birthday and say, well, I gotta starve myself because I know there's just gonna be this massive amount of food and I wanna be able to just eat all those calories and uh, just eat all the food that I can and not feel guilty. Don't do that. It's like, you know when you go on a trip and you, you're packing and you're stuffing all the stuff in your suitcase and you're like, hey, so-and-so, can you come hold this down because you're stuffing so much in and you're trying to zip it up, get it all in there? That's kind of like what happens when you starve yourself and you go to these meals, you go to Thanksgiving, you're trying to stuff it all in and your body's just like, oh my gosh, you know, I can't handle this. So don't starve yourself. Do whatever you would do when you get up in the morning. If that's eat breakfast, eat breakfast. If that's workout, then go work out. 
you know, if you want to not have you know, a longer session to work out, I have an awesome seven day warrior sleigh workouts that you could do. 20 to 30 minutes of cardio, Tabata strength. You can pick one, you can do it, bam, get it done. Um, and you go about your day. So don't starve yourself. Do whatever it is that you normally do to get the day going. Second thing, ask yourself three questions. So I want you to ask yourself, what went well last year? What did I do well? What could I do differently? And how am I going to implement that today or whatever day you are celebrating? Okay, ask yourself those three questions. And the number three kind of goes along with that is have a plan. Go in, have a plan. Seriously, visualize what you want to eat. And here's the thing, we typically, you know, we're creatures of habit. Maybe we go to the same place. Maybe we go to our grandparents' house or our parents' house, or maybe you host Thanksgiving every year. In that case, you know exactly what you're making. So in your mind, think about, okay, this is non-negotiable for me. These are my non-negotiables. This is what I wanna have. I look forward to it every Thanksgiving. Because listen, guys, turkeys, hams, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, stuffing, pumpkin pie, apple pie, pecan pie, uh, rolls, all of that stuff is available every single day of the year, right? It's just on Thanksgiving or on holidays is when we bring it all together. So don't sit there and think, oh my gosh, I have to have this and I have to have this and I have to have this because it's never, it's not coming around again for another year. Wrong. You could go tomorrow to the store and get it all. So have a plan. Make sure you understand what your non-negotiables are and what make sure that you can understand, ah, I can live without that. And with that goes, my plate theory. This is one thing, and this is one thing that I do every single time, especially when I know that I'm not in control of my environment with food, and I wanna eat, I wanna enjoy it, I think of the plate theory, okay? Here it is. Here's your plate. You have nine o'clock, and you have 12.20, okay? Here you have your proteins, here you have your fibrous carbohydrates, and here you have your starchy carbs. Sorry, that looks like an eat. I'm gonna show you exactly, this is almost verbatim what I have because I know what I like to have every Thanksgiving. I like to have turkey only on Thanksgiving, right? And then I love to have broccoli and I love to throw um, some bacon on it in the form of turkey bacon. My mom's stuffing, I love. I look forward to my mom's stuffing every single year. Um, and I love sweet potatoes. So I take the stuffing and I throw my stuffing on top of my sweet potato. I love these little oranges, oh my gosh. They're delicious. And then I always have to have salad. And I brought this out because this is my favorite salad dressing. And guys, this is where most people, you know, tip the scale with when we douse on the salad dressing. So, you know, if there's not a salad dressing there that is maybe low calorie or something that you're used to, Put some on there, but just, you know, be mindful. It's not about, it's not about restricting yourself. It's about having control over what you can control um, when you're not the one that's like maybe making the meal or, per, or bringing all the food or preparing all the food. It's just about having that control. So this is exactly how I build my plate. I have protein, I have um, fibrous carbs, I have starchy carbs. Now, I'll tell you what, this is not going to make me feel like I'm restricting myself and it's not going to make me feel so full that I feel miserable. Okay, so just remember the plate theory, put it on there. It's, it's the perfect way to create your plan is that plate theory. And then the fifth and final thing, which is the most important is the next day, go back to business as usual, okay? So this is why I say the holiday is not making you fat. It's not making you gain weight. It is all the snacking, all the little um, Hansel and Gretling on the way up to the holiday, then you have the holiday. And then it's the leftovers and the Hansel and Gretling after the holidays. That is what's causing you to gain weight. It is not the actual holiday. So if you can control this and you can control this, this right here is not gonna be a problem. There's no restriction on holidays. That's no fun. You don't wanna be the person that's bringing all your own food, bringing your scale, bringing this, bringing that. No, that's not fun. 
you want to live, you want to enjoy it. And that's what it's all about. But you got to pay attention here and you got to pay attention here as well. Okay. We normally do not eat this amount of food on a daily basis or this, this much carbohydrate overload generally on a daily basis when we sit down to have Thanksgiving dinner. And so we're always going to feel that, you know, that kind of sluggishness that we get tired and it's just from all of those carbohydrates running through us and that, that water retention, that water gain. Okay. Because one thing that there is, there's a difference between gaining fat and gaining water. And that is why I say the next day, if you get back to business, your body is going to thank you because it wants that normalcy. You didn't just gain, you know, five or 10 pounds in, in one day. I promise you that. Okay. So get back to normal, get back to business, get back to doing what you do, working out, making sure that you're drinking plenty of water. Um, and your body is going to respond and you're going to feel great. And then the next holiday or event rolls around and you can do the same five steps right here these five things and follow the plate rule. And if you get confused on, you know, oh gosh, I don't know what starchy carbs are. I don't know what fibrous carbs are. Um, I have an awesome download um, that I will link to in this video and you can download that and just use that as a reference. And if you're like, okay, well, what do I do, you know, for workouts or um, to get, maybe get started after Thanksgiving, you can always download one of my, um, I have a four week warrior dumbbell domination workout that is awesome that you can start. I will link it here. Um, but guys, I hope this has been helpful. I hope that you can understand that these five strategies work no matter if it's a holiday or whatever type of event that you're going to where your environment is a little bit off and not your normal. So if you like this video, if it has helped you in any way, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribing to my channel so you never miss a video. And we're gonna go do what we do best, you guys. Go kick your trash.